everyone, welcome back to the fourth episode of the Might and Magic 6 playthrough. I am your host Huey Plays, and welcome back to another video. Um, if you're liking this uh, series so far, uh, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe and like the video. It uh, means a lot to me, and it would be nice knowing have people along on the journey as well. So I appreciate every single one of you. Um, so yeah, in the fourth episode here, uh, we're back at Goblin Watch Keep. Uh, we're going to continue clearing out uh, the dungeon here. Uh, so last episode we, um, so we'll go back in here. Uh, we went through most of the dungeon here. Um, I remember the code. It was Goblin backwards. Uh, I just realised I could have just gone through. The other entry to the to the dungeon, <laughs> um, but yeah, we um, we went through most of the dungeon. We leveled up. Ooh, ooh, uh, that's wizard eye. Um, got some new items and stuff, and now we're back here, gonna clear it out. Um, probably gonna go to um. The abandoned temple, which is in New Sorpagal as well. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, yeah, so we'll clear out these buggers. Well, here we go. Is this a soul sucker? Can you see right? Haha! -ha. I remembered. So I remember in Castle Iron Fist, there is a shit ton of these sucker things in like, the fields. Leads to like an abandoned mansion type of thing. Which I'm sure we'll get into at some point. Um, pretty much think of like all the horror enemies you can think of. So like your zombies, ghouls, ghosts, all that kind of stuff. Skeletons. They're all in there, which is fun. Uh, we'll get to that at some point. Um, but yeah, I just remember all the suckers out. Um, oh, I forgot the shamans can shoot fire. Um, yeah, I just remember there was a shit ton of bloodsuckers and, um, you know, because we got, everyone has bow, it's going to be so satisfying clearing them out. Just going to spam A, and I'll go down like a sack of potatoes, and I'll be a happy, happy man, satisfying my OCD. Um, speaking of, let's spam A right now. Shooting at the wall does not help. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll back off a bit. Alright. We'll spam A. Look, listen to that. The sounds of their bodies just falling to the ground. Um, we'll back off a bit. We'll repeat. It's just satisfying. But they move blade fast, so we probably won't be able to do it. Oh, yeah, that's satisfying. <laughs> so yeah, we'll uh, clear these guys out. I really need to learn disease, cure disease, and I reckon, I forgot to do it last episode actually, because um, in the third episode um, I was saying how oh, I want to get spirit magic for Pedro, uh, so we're going to learn Bless, Heroism, and a couple other spells, um, and I'll say if I can... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's body magic where you can cure disease and poison and all that. Ooh, Elven Bow. Might be able to use you. Yes, we can. Very good stuff. Um I don't know. Aha. So yeah, we'll be able to um, heal up without having to go back into the town. Um I don't think there's anything here. I saved it because in case I got stuck and I can't get out. Um, it's a bit deceiving in the map there. Um, I'm pretty sure in Modern Magic 7 you can click on the fires and they give you um, elemental resistance or items as well. Um, not in this one. Unless I'm just having rotten luck, but I don't think that's the case. Um, 
Good. I love the Goblin Kings. Um, we'll draw him out if we can. Oh god. It's gonna get annoying. Okay, running out of portal. You sound so angry, mates. What's going on? I need to seek some counselling to release the anger. Don't take it out on me. I'm just merely passing by, trying to do quests. And, you know, I come in here in peace, but here you are just shooting flame uh, balls at me, which I don't appreciate. So you shall die for your sins. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep going along here. Um, Ooh, more rats. Easy pickings. Killing rats as well is really satisfying. Spam A. Then the giant rat rules work there. Got a fair bit of hit points for a rat. Um, got some more over here. This would be satisfying. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of forget the quests that we actually have to do in here. Um, I feel like there's actually no more quests in here. Um, I think it's more so just items, which I'm sure will put the good to use. Put the good use. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, enough. Thing. Yes. So I think this enemies here. You can tell by the indicators here when it's yellow. Always means there are enemies around. So always check your surroundings. Like there, and I ran over with it. That's why we weren't coming up on the map. So now it's green, so we can heal if we want. Rest. Oh. That's twice now. Well, last episode I did that too. I need to watch what I'm doing. Eyes on the prize. Um, yeah, Charlotte's out of the sun. Oh, that's an upgraded piece of chain. Uh -huh. I Sell don't that know. And we'll use that. Uh, who's got the lowest armor? You know what, Charlotte? We'll give you honors. Look at that. So that'll be a plus 12. I think it's steel. Steel mail or something. Uh, we'll sell that. Uh, I don't know. I think this is a plus five. Yes, it is. And plus six poison as well. Uh, who's got the lowest that doesn't have a cloak? I think. Uh, Halo speed's a bit down because he's diseased, the poor bugger. Um, so his arm class is a bit down. So we'll give it to uh, Stephanie. Um, Alright, so we've cleared out, um, let me say the, what am I doing? I'm trying to think which wing, alright, so we've cl cleared out the west wing of the map, uh, we'll go back along here, and we'll clear out the east wing, and I think from memory that will be it. But last episode also said that, um, oh, is that the end of the cape already? And then, you know, I haven't discovered uh, these parts, so I may be speaking prematurely, but I think, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think that this will be the last wing. Alright, so we've got some shamans here, which should be no problem. Should be able to take their fireballs. Um, easier than what I thought. So we'll take that any day of the week. Take out these here rats. Which is also easy. Run out torchlight, which again isn't ideal. Um, that's okay, it's better than one hour, so we'll take it. We'll back off for the Goblin King. Um, right. There's a fair bit of goblins here, actually. 
Ah, yep, the suckers. Made it to save him. Alright, you and me, Goblin King. 1v4, let's do this. Come on, give me all you got. Poor Pedro, he's just been taking the bash in the last couple of episodes. Even though his armor class is the highest of anyone. Ooh, I reckon we're almost done. Let's go. I feel like we should come up for a, like a nickname for the party. Um, obviously they all got their own names, but you know, like a cool nickname to think. You now I'll leave it up to you guys in the comments if you are watching this. Let me know of a nickname to call the party. Um. I follow the Essendon Footy Club in Australia, so like an example would be like the Bombers. That's their nickname, so like give me a name that I can call them. That'll be much appreciated. Cause I am terrible at coming up with nicknames. And we're all getting diseased here. Um that's alright, we should be able to take them out. Um, Imagine in real life just seeing these creatures just flying and then you see their teeth just like that. That'll be quite a sight to see. Alright. You can spam hold the uh, space bar and it gets all of the bodies like that. Instead of like... Okay, why am I moving slow? I feel like I pressed a button. That made me go slow. Um. Hmm. For some reason going backwards is faster than me going forward at the moment. Um. Yeah, okay, I'm kind of con having some technical difficulties here. <laughs> um, right, yeah, this is not ideal. <laughs> um, I'm gonna save the game. I'm gonna press different keys. See if that helps. I feel like I press something. Uh, off, no, it's rest. And for the rights. What does B do actually? Don't know what it does. V C What if I jump? Would that help? Definitely doing something here. Oh, I feel like caps lock is on. Aha! Uh -huh. I just looked at my keyboard and I noticed caps lock was on. I never knew that was a thing. There you go. The more you learn. Okay, so. What? Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I'm just discovering new things that I didn't know. I had no idea you could do this. Ooh. How do I. Is it because I press B? So I feel like. Yeah, look, I, to be honest, I have no idea what's going on. Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to save it. I'm going to quit. And we'll load it back up. Oh, what is happening? Ugh. I feel like because I pressed the keys, I feel like I've done something now. And it's just... It's upset the rhythm here. Um... I'm not gonna save before opening the chest. Got it. Okay. I don't know. Okay, hopefully that settles down. Um <laughs> I don't know. God. Typical. Um no, I'm, what on earth I think Pedro was our identifier item. Yeah. Uh ooh, accuracy, that is good. 
I don't know. Uh, that's a good card. I don't know. Wand and Chan Lao. Okay, seriously, what's happening? Oh, <laughs> that should be the order. If I save it. And. I feel like I've definitely done something. We'll load it back up. It is still doing it. Uh, I've definitely pressed a button. What do I press? I'm just pressing the keyboard. A diff different key, see, but I press control and that seems to have worked. Okay, I think I figured it out. That was interesting. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties here um, and holding up the video. Um, seems we are discovering new things every day. Um, so I'm just going to test it again. So if I want to swap Pablo with Charlotte, I'll just hold control and click, let go, and it works. Do it again. Has this always been a feature? Um, let's save it. Was it just me just being completely oblivious to the fact that you could do that? Um... I'm not really sure why you would want to change it up. I guess like aesthetically if you want to change it up, mix up the order. But I don't know if there's actually any benefit to doing that. Could be wrong. Maybe it's like if you're at the front of the party, you um, recover quicker. Or s if there's something like that and if you're watching this and you know, then please let me know because as you can tell, I have no idea. Um, I didn't know you could actually shuffle the party. But we figured it out. Trial and error. We tried different keys and we figured it out. So I'm proud of myself for doing that. And that is Goblin Watch done and dusted. Um, took a bit over an episode to do. Uh, which is quicker than what I thought, to be honest. So I thought I'd do two to three vids on it. Um, but I guess I'm doing like longer episodes than most playthroughs I've seen. Um, I used to watch RPG back in the day. And on the side note, I have absolutely no idea what has happened to his channel. The last video he put up was like 13 years ago. Closed. I don't know what happened to him, if he's like still alive, don't know, or family, or jail or something, you just don't know. Um, but I remember he was pumping them out and was really into them. And if he had kept going, like, he was around in the early days of YouTube, he would have definitely grown for sure. So I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Um, but yeah, uh, what are we up to? I don't know. Alright, yeah, so we've got some items here. I've got to be sidetracked so earlier. Um, Accuracy, who's got the lowest? Pablo the Knight? That cloth hat suits you. Look at him. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll identify... Um, it's closed. Of course it's closed. Because um, Pablo is our merchant person with uh, free in that. Don't touch the merchandise. Hey Harry, I won't touch the merchandise. Um, we can identify, sell and repair for cheaper and sell for more, which is definitely ideal. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I'm liking what I see very much. Um, alright, so we got steel, chain, mail of health. Uh, so there are only two people that can equip it at the moment. So we'll identify that as well. Um, Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Alright, so, we can get rid of what they have. Uh, I'm thinking Pedro can have this one because he's got lower um, hit points and for some reason he seems to be taking a lot of damage even though his armor class is in the 30s now, which is definitely the most of anyone. And 
I'm just giving him all the armor because, as I was saying, he's taking all the hits for some reason. Um, which is a bit peculiar, but, you know, life goes on. We push for it, don't we, Pedro? Uh, we'll give this to uh, Charlotte. Hmm. Has plus 12, but for some reason it's doing plus 13. Is that because of her speed? Or because we've got the one chain? What's plus 12? Also does the same for him. I actually don't know. Again, if you know why, then let me know. I'm always open to learning more. I love information and learning. Knowledge is power. Um, and yeah, it would be interesting to know what the reason is for that. I think it's through a speed, but then I'm thinking 11 shouldn't really give me a bonus like that. I'm really not sure. Um, all right, what are we up to? Mm. Sell that. We'll, I don't know. we'll identify that. Oh yes, the Alvin cloak. Uh, who doesn't have a cloak? So between Pedro, God, I could just really bump off him up here. Give it to Pablo. His armor class, make him in the twenties. We'll give something to Steph to make her in the twenties as well. Don't want her feeling left out. Don't touch the merchant. Uh, we'll sell the chain here. Um. Come back soon. Sell the bow. For a weapon? I'm not looking for a weapon cane. I'm looking to sell this bow. God, over the years I never realized how creepy that profile pic looks. <laughs> I'm getting out of your store, I don't feel comfortable. Um, oh yeah, so we'll... It's closed. I had this problem last episode. Sorry. Can I help shut. you find anything? Uh... Okay... Harm. I think that's like a body magic offensive spell. I'm not sure if that'll work on the oozes, but we shall try. Um... We'll sell... The rooms here. Sparks. Thanks. Okay. They are definitely worth a lot to sell. Um, but, as I was saying, the oozes are my kryptonite and I want to use the ones on them. So, when the time comes, we Hello. shall do that. Oh, we need to learn body magic. Does Hello. it say where we can learn it? Because I would like to learn body magic and. Mercenary. Mercenary. Meditation. As quick as possible. Um, I feel like maybe in Castle Iron Fist. Greetings and salutations, Buford uh, T. Allman, the barrister. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking we shall tackle the abandoned temple. We'll make a start on that. Probably go over a couple episodes again, like Goblin Watch Keep. But I think this one's a bit more in depth. That's why I did the keep uh, initially. Um, okay, so I want to learn some new spells. Spirit magic as well is at the other places. Is other places. We'll learn water while we're here. Charlotte doesn't really need much. Uh, cold bang. Nasty god. What's the expert level? Deadly swarm. That's a decent enough spell. Uh, does five points of damage plus one to three per point. Never misses. Um, and doesn't cost too much. So we probably will get that at some point. Fire bolt. Uh, is could be better to be honest. Um. What else? Protection. I know there's a spell for Pedro. It's either light magic or spirit of mind. Where it applies like all the elemental schools. So like protection from cold, fire, water, um, and magic. And it casts all at once. I forget what's called. Cool. Pressure sure is light magic. Is it the hour power? But I think it's that one. It's like something similar. Um, we'll get to it at some point. The magic of spirit, mind, and body. 
We are learning all the magic trees here. Um, Alright, what can we learn? What can we get? Meditation. Um, I feel it's the expert level. Yeah, protect. Uh, we, healing touch will definitely get. Oh, it's spirit magic. I was hoping it was body. I was like, we can get that now, actually. Um, harm. We can get that now. Why not? Okay. Pedro is happy with his new spell. Harm. Yeah, so it does 8 points of damage plus 1 to 2 per point. So it does a minimum of 12, max of 16, which is pretty good, actually. So, over here is the Abandoned Temple. Now, I didn't learn my lesson from uh, the previous episode. I said I was going to keep track of the time. Uh, again, I think it might be 20 minutes so far. Uh, so we'll definitely make a start here. I'm conscious of like not making it too long, like an hour plus. Uh, probably typically be like 30 to 60 minutes, depending on what happens in the vid. Um, but yeah, um, look at all that. And we'll get light or dark as well, so we'll get eight in total. Um, well, yeah, that's what we like to see. Uh, we'll definitely cast that. And wizard eye, and we'll save. Uh, it was one time a temple of Bar, Bar, a foul curse caused the inhabitants to move away. Some of the inhabitants are cobras and bats. I don't like the looks of this place. Vampire bats. I think they cause disease as well. Um. So knowing my luck, I'll get disease probably right now. Oh, I love this music that they got. They have different music for different dungeons. Um, there's actually one for Modern Magic 7 I actually really like. Um, I'll probably let you know when I start playing Modern Magic 7. Providing I get through this playthrough, which I am committed to doing, but again, no guarantee knowing my history of uploading, um, but we'll give it a crack. Um, okay, so uh, that wasn't too bad. Um, I don't know. See, I don't know. I know there's items on the ground, um, but oftentimes you can miss it, like, unless you're really paying attention. Aha. Mind Blast and Dagger. Gold, which is always good. Aha, uh -huh, you can hear the Cobras. The bats down there. Aha, uh -huh, we've got some barrels, so purple is speed, which gives armor. We'll give it to Charlotte, she has less hit points. Um, red is my... He's got the... We'll give it to Steph. Which didn't make a difference. Okay. Alright, they're already coming up, so we'll back off. We've already got a few vampire bats straight off the bat. No pun intended. Um... But yeah, um, we're already getting a few of those straight up. But we like a challenge, so as you saw last video, I was determined to push through with a 75% disease party and uh, not give up. So, oh yeah, there's definitely a lot of cobras here. Um, We'll open this door back off. Uh, these Cobras are easy. It's more so when you get in Cobra Kings and the Queen, I think is the worst. And we'll encounter them for sure. 
what, falling from the roof. Um, easy peasy. Days give herbs. Um, okay, what's this barrel? Orange is intellect. Um, which only Charlotte and Steph can use. We'll give it to Steph. Which did make a difference. Uh, Charlotte's out of this arm, yep. Yeah. Still getting used to who's who and what skills they have, but we'll get there eventually. Um, okay, so hoping some good stuff. Whenever you hear that uh, noise, it means there's a quest item, and here's the Candelabra. From memory, that Andover Popello, I think that was his name. Um, as I said at the time, you just gotta love the names. Um, so we'll give that to Pablo. Um, for some reason, I was tempted to say Pavlova. Um, yeah, see that noise? Means there's a quest item. Um, we could go back and hand it in, but we might as well keep going. Um, save. I reckon it'll be an upgraded one. You can definitely tell if they are, because they have different uh, colour skin, like green or red. We're lucky. Uh, every other time there's always been at least a Cobra King. I think that's the new one. So we are lucky. Get any luck that we can get at this point. Um, cast. Uh, Torchlight. We've got a door. I actually don't remember this. Um, definitely spiders. Yeah. Ooh, -hoo, giant spider. Okay, we've got to kill the spider queen. We've got that quest. We've got to rescue someone's daughter, I believe. Um, she somehow got lost all the way. She went all the way through the rooms in, into the dungeons. Uh, I mean, you can't trust kids. They just always seem to be, end up doing that. Uh, we'll kill this. Is it cut no yeah, last... Was it this... It was this episode, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm already losing track. <laughs> um, yeah, it was this episode. I must have, like... When to press A, but I press caps lock. So, like, slowed me down. Um, so, yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, Alright, let's keep going. Uh, I reckon we can level up. Almost. Uh, almost level 5, so we're making progress. I think I used to get up to level 80, 90. My old playthroughs. Um, so it's going to take a long time to get there, but it is worth it. My Magic 6 is a great game. Um, you can tell I'm passionate about it. Um, this is like my seventh time playing it. We're taking a bit of damage here. Um, I like the noises they make when they die. There's someone about it for some reason. Alright. Got rid of them. Give it to Pedro. Ooh, poison resistance. Um, I know... Uh, ah. So I just assumed it was disease, but poison. I was going to say, if it was disease, I was going to give it to anyway. Just to see if it might work. But it is poison, so I'm going to give it to you. Um, okay. So that means I should be able to make, if I save it, a poison using blue and red. And look at that. Master Alchemist Pedro over here, just doing his magic. 
So I'll just assume there was disease. I need to pay more attention. Okay, so... Speaking of paying attention, I need to cast this away. So I noticed uh, they weren't popping up on the minimap. Is it poison again? Aha, uh -huh, so that's disease. They have the same look, so I just assumed. I'm so used to being orange, like orange being um, cured disease. I need to look up what colour is cure disease, if there is a potion for that. I'm guessing there is. Oh yeah, this is like the sparks trap in the middle hub bit. Um, God, this is still pretty dark. And we'll just tor torso up. So, I'll be keen to become expert in fire magic so we get more powerful torso light. That'll be very handy. Um, but we can still see. Um, it's just as a big cave, so it looks dark in the distance. Yeah, there's a spark traps. Um, that don't do much damage, so even if we get hit, shouldn't be any dramas. These spiders can blend in, the little bastards. Look at them. These yellow ones are nothing. It's the uh, red ones we want to worry about. Um, or if there is a shit ton of them. Okay, um, from memory, I think there's stuff on the ground. Um, but I don't have. Uh, what do I do? Identify them. Uh, Wizard Eye, I think Expert, you can look at stuff on the ground. Yeah, shows treasure and master shows points of interest. So we'll definitely try and get Expert when we can. And Charlotte. We'll identify all these. Sell that. We don't have dagger. Sell that. We'll use that. Um, what am I doing? Come on, Victoria. There we go. Okay, and we'll go through this gap. Um, yeah, let's see, there is stuff on the ground. Um, I'll see if there's anything on the ground. I'm squinting right now. <laughs> Um, because it is hard to see. I'm trying to avoid the sparks as well. Um, okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here except these bats, which are easy to kill. Um, I'll keep going down here. Um, I'll just have a sip of water. Good old Coles water, you can't go wrong. Um, Okay, uh, got the vampire bat. Try to kill no one first. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Um, we'll circle back around, see if there's anything on the ground. Doesn't look like it. Knowing my luck, I just missed a fair bit of gold. Um, we'll keep going. I think we'll start to encounter the spiders more. We go along. We'll spam A. I get those vampire bats, not the spiders. That shouldn't be. Oh, probably poison or disease us though, so we'll back off a bit. Give a bit more room to attack. Go the fast. Um, Wow. So it's hard to kill when they're flapping around. But we managed to do it. Yeah, come on. We can do it. It's vampire back here. That's the worry. Um, we'll get there. Oh, so I love having two people that can uh, heal. I'm used to just having a cleric, um, or just a druid, so I'm very pleased I went with two healers. 
at that. Alright. Um, I reckon I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna rest. And heal up uh, Charlotte. Uh, we'll cast Wizard Eye and Torchlight first, and then we'll save again. And we'll continue on for a little bit. Um, I might, my goal for this episode might be to uh, retrieve the girl. Aha, uh, here's a Cobra King. Very easy. Um, retrieve the girl, which from memory is down here, actually. Good day. Look at that. I can end the episode right now. <laughs> Uh, that was a lot quicker than I thought. Okay, sh she joins us there. Aha, uh -huh, yes. From memory, there's like a lot of cages that can kill you, but have good items. So, we're going to climb up the wall, activate the door. Can I jump from here? Alright. We'll go back up, try again. Uh, go up the wall. There we go. Yeah, from it. Yeah, there's like cages in here. I'm gonna save because I don't trust those skeletons. I know there's some good items here, but susceptible to dying. So I'm gonna save after each one, before each one. I'm guessing just one item each, so we'll save here. Okay, we've got a sword. Pretty sure these two definitely kill. Yeah, they shoot fireballs. We'll go over here. So you can hear shoots fireballs. Um, I know when I have done it before, I think I did it straight on. So I might try on the angle. That seems to work. Oh god, I'm running out of room here. Um, ooh, Amulet. I think that's our first one. Typically, they are enchanted. Not in this case, but we'll sell it. It's worth 500. Uh -huh. Oh my dog, Izzy is uh, waking up from her slumber. Oh, she's curling back up. Mm. One accuracy. Oh, I don't think it's worth mm. it. Hate, really. Um, uh -huh. Sell those. We'll rearrange those there. I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, Arrange that. All right. Um, we'll go back up here. Um, so we've done one quest in the abandoned temple, um, which is obviously rescue the girl, which we have done. Um, we've got the candelabra. Oh, so we've done two quests actually. We've got the girl, got the candelabra, and the next one is to kill the spider queen. Um, where are we? Yeah, kill this queen of spiders and return to that Buford T. Orman. So, we'll definitely do that. Um, probably next episode, I imagine. Unless I'll just somehow just speed through this. Um, but we are making good progress. Quicker than what I thought, to be honest. I don't know. God, how easy is that to miss? I don't know. God, I'm gonna scale this floor now. I need to get an expert in air magic for sure. Will let me know on the map. But this is really testing my eyes. See if I have good eyesight. I don't have glasses, but I'm still squinting to see if I can see them. <laughs> um, what's shooting at the wall? I think it does that when like the closest enemy on the minimap. Um, can sometimes be like behind a wall, so it 
automatically prioritizes those. So I'll just back off and go that way. I thought that was a vampire bat there because it's red. I think it's just glitches in the map um, structure there. Uh, we still got our spells. I'm just going to run out to do that. So we've got half of our party are diseased, which isn't as bad as the last episode where we had three out of the four. Oh, here we go. We've got our first red spider. Look out. And uh, first, I think second blue one as well. We'll go after the huge one first because most damage and most hit points. And then for the giant spider. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. Poor old Pedro's poisoned, but we don't have any... Yes, we do. Pablo coming in clutch like always. It worked. We can make a poison, use that. Look at that. It's what we love around here. Um, it's good teamwork. It's good on you guys. Still need to think of that nickname. If no one comments anything, I'll try to think of something. Um, keyword try, so don't hate on me. Um, we'll work something out. Um, oh yes, this is like the big open area. Um, get rid of these giant spiders here. Yeah, on. Pablo coming in clutch yet again. He is our saviour at the moment, which I appreciate. Um, okay, so we've got a belt here. Uh -huh. From memory, this is like a bridge. Uh -huh. Was that better than what I have? No, it's not. I've noticed though that I can level up. Yes, that is good. Um, yeah, this is a bridge here. The Spider Queen's somewhere down here. Um, yeah, she's definitely down there. Oh, Jesus. Got poison again. I just assumed they were down there. Where the hell did you come? Them. I don't have any um pinnacle ferna roots, uh the blue herbs. Yeah. Pablo can't come in clutch again, unfortunately. Um I think because we're at the intersection here, I think we'll go back to town. Um we'll heal up, we'll level up. And we'll end the episode there, I reckon. Um, again, we've made some good progress. Uh, a bit quicker than what I thought. But I think because I'm doing longer episodes, it can be a bit deceiving on my end. So, I probably am making like normal progress, but it seems like I am making more. Um, let have another sip of water. Very important to keep hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. So this is your reminder to have some water. Be healthy. Um, but yeah, so we'll go back to New Sorpagul. We'll um, we'll sell some items, see if we can buy any, level up, do all that good stuff. Uh, then we'll uh, end the episode there. We'll uh, come back here in the fifth episode, so we're definitely uh, definitely getting along, um, and we'll finish it off. So, got black as a dog's guts at the moment, as my dad would say. Um, rest until here, so I can see.
Uh, really, that hurt? I've done that heaps of times before and it never hurts. Let me try again. Okay, that was weird. Um, okay, so we'll go to the temple, heal my party up, feel bad for them. I've copped it a bit the last few episodes. God, Joshua, you keep increasing your prices. Just because I'm getting more gold from the dungeons doesn't mean you have to bump up your prices. Um, I need your help. Oh no, that was Shari. That's right. Um, wait, Andover Potbello. What a name. Quest. Bar be praised. No worries, Andover. Um, and we'll um, give uh, what's her name, Angela, okay. back to. Her mum or father, I forget. Hi. Um, Hi. I think it's on the other. I reckon it's this one. Hello. No. Definitely this one. Good day. Okay, it's on the other side. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll uh, do uh, that quest, so we might be able to level up twice potentially, depending on how many quests or how much experience how we get. Are you today? Okay, once we kill the spider queen, we'll be able to... How are you? Here we go. You find 10 food. Thank you, Viola. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think we'll be able to level up. We've only got 1,000 from that. Um, we'll go back to the other side again. Um, and we'll level up. Can't go wrong with leveling up at least once. Um, so we'll do that. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. Um, Alright, so... Go back over to the shops. We'll put some skill points into Merchant, actually. We can get Expert. I need to find out where I can get Expert. I'll try and get that as soon as possible. Uh, what else do I want? I might do Shield. Definitely don't want to do Leather, because I know Pablo can get Plate, and there's no point pumping... Uh, skill points into ladder when I can do it on plate just defeats the purpose so we'll save that um, go over here uh, Charlotte the Archer we'll split it between axe and chain and we'll save that for you know, level up again I reckon uh, Pedro the cleric definitely want to bump up identify on them and what's your armor class? Oh yeah, you got the most of everyone, don't you? Um, I do want spirit in preparation for like bless and heroism and all that good stuff. Uh, okay, uh, Steph, I want you to have a magic expert, which I reckon noose. Oh, actually. It might be here, so I think I saw it. We'll, a weapon. Uh, we'll sell all this good stuff. Uh, I don't think anyone else had. Okay, uh -huh. not. We can identify it now. Uh, Gothic amulets. We'll sell that. Sell that too. Might get some uh, Ferner roots from the alchemist as well, so I can make some poison. Get some potion bottles. Don't touch uh, the merchandise. So this stuff. Uh, Come back soon. Yeah, right, we'll go over here to good old Wilma, who. Can I help you find anything? Probably my favourite shopkeeper, unlike Kane, the weapons person who has a creepy photo. Um. All right, we'll sell these. Well, look at this. Instead of 214 normally, 356. So that's a fair bump in price. And before we know, we'll have a shit ton of gold. Um, I remember from my other playthrough, it just rose up really quick. Um, which is what we want. Oh yeah, we'll buy 
days. For sure. Uh, what else do you have? Ooh, hello. Boots. Definitely buy that helmet, the boots. Oh, we don't need those. Okay, who doesn't have a helmet? Girls. Alright, who's got the logs? You're up, Steph. Ha! Ah, can you just see her head at the top there? Love that. Um, so we've got that. Uh, these boots of fire resistance. It's only plus two, so it won't make too much of a difference. Who doesn't have boots? Everyone except Pedro, so... I'm going to go with the Pablo. Yeah, he's already got fire resistance, so... A bit extra boost there. Uh, we'll see if we can buy anything if they've got new stuff in. Okay, that is satisfying. Going in descending order. I like that. You're not as creepy anymore, Kane. I appreciate the effort you're putting in there. <laughs> um, we have, do you have any accents here? Mm, just that. And that is. I reckon there should be something Don't here. Touch the merchandise. Um, nothing I want to get, though. Which is a shame. Um, oh yeah, I'll see if I can find, uh, air magic expert. Good day. So there's fire, there Hello. is earth, that's the trainers, um, uh, spirit, Hello. mind, and body. Maybe they don't have it here. You know what? I'm going to save it here. So I have a fire spell. Page up to go up. Greetings and salutations. Uh -huh. Aha! Remember that, yes. Air magic is here. Yes, okay. we'll become air magic expert. Thank you, Cheryl. And K.R. Salem in Mist can teach us master. Um... Here we go down. So page. Um, trying to figure out how they. Oh god! Oh, I forgot about the fireballs. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, that thing over there shoots fireballs. At any any movement in the sky, pretty much. There is a quest to disable them. You get keys or something, and you press the buttons at each. Um, so yeah, we'll do that at some point, so I completely forgot about that. That would have been a disaster, but that's why you save, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so, you can press Y to yell at people as well, if they're getting away. Can use a gypsy, what do gypsies do? Uh, is it like, say, I think they say food. Yeah, food use is decreased by one. Merchant is increased by three, but reputation is decreased. Reputation doesn't mean much, really. I am tempted. Have a look around. Have a look around. Okay, Rhino. I want to buy your herbs and potions. Thank you. And a bottle or something. Um, Alright, so we'll give them all to Pedro, who is our resident alchemist. Um, so we've got to shuffle things around here. Oh, that's perfect. Ten bottles. And we'll... Oh, it was almost going to be perfect. You know what? Have a look around. I'll buy your last Thank herb. You. Because I want to enclose that. Look at that. That is satisfying to me. <laughs> As you've gathered, I just like things that are satisfying. Aesthetically, like... It's just nice. Um, move these down here. We'll save. Um, I reckon that is it for this episode. Yeah, as I was saying. Um, yeah, there's a key. And yeah, do that. 
There is a quest to do that. Um, I think it's in a snowy town from it. I forget what it's called. Oh, look at that. Expert identify item. It's all happening, ladies and gentlemen. Which is what we want to see. I reckon after the abandoned temple, I'll clear out the mages there. Um, I don't think there's any dungeons there. Then we'll probably go to Castle Iron Fist. So, potentially that could be the next episode. Because so I reckon I might finish the abandoned temple. And then work our way to... Um, Castle Iron Fist. I can remember the name now. If you know, you know. Um... But before that, I'll clear out the mages, as I was saying. Um, shouldn't be too many dramas there. Um, so yeah, we're making good progress. Um, Leveling up, getting some good items. So I can't complain. We're definitely making our way to completing the game. So, again, thank you for joining me in on this episode. I appreciate you tremendously. I genuinely do. Um, if you have made it this far, let me know what your favourite colour is. A bit random, but just curious to see. Mine is orange, but green is a very close second. Um, so yeah, thank you again if you have made it this far. Um, again, I truly appreciate it. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Huey Plays. Thank you for joining me. Cheers. Have a good one.